Hey guys, it's Pastor Dwayne here. Today we are doing another Bible review and I got a King James Version as published by Humble Lamb. And I am really excited to show you this Bible specifically. It's an absolutely beautiful edition and it did not disappoint me in the least. So for the sake of transparency, this was provided to me for a fair and honest review. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at what's inside. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice here is this big white box with a gold lion stamped in gold on the front. This specific one is listed here. It's the Amethyst Edition. It's a nice purple color, and there's a couple details on there. You can go ahead and read those really quickly. The back of the box gives us the uh, Humble Lamb logo and uh, the website right there. That's where this Bible can be ordered from. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the description below, but let's go ahead and open the box and see what is inside. I think I'm going to keep the box this time. So I get this little card here. There's a little description of uh, what the vision is for Humble Lamb. You can go ahead and pause that and read that if you like. And then inside, wrapped in this black construction paper, is the Bible itself. So inside we get this uh, Bible which is sleeved in black construction paper. And uh, you'll notice it fits tightly around so you get a little bit of that yap training right out of the box which is kind of nice. Now again, just to be open here, I did have this open before. I've been using it for about two weeks. I just wanted you to see how it comes bundled in the box. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. So this edition is a purple goat skin, Meridian goat skin. Did I say that right? A Mauritian? I'm not entirely sure. Leave a comment below and maybe give me some instructions on how to pronounce that word. A really nice goat skin, really soft, really pliable. Like this is very, very good stuff. On the, uh, the spine there, you have the word of God stamped in gold with four raised hubs. Now this is the edge lined edition. We'll get into that in a minute. If you get the paste off, it's gonna look a little bit different here. And then you have the uh, the back cover, nothing too crazy there. So there is perimeter stitching and we'll do is I'll show you here and then maybe we'll snap a photo and put that up so you can see that a little bit more clearly. It's hard to see on the camera here. And of course that goes all the way around. Now this Bible is the uh, amethyst purple color. Um, but Humble Lamb does offer this in a tremendous amount of other different offerings. I think there's like yellow and pink and fire engine red and blue and, and a whole bunch of that stuff. Maybe we'll flash them up on the screen here so you can see those. So there's no end of options for that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the gilding on there. You can see that all around. And we're going to come back because that's kind of neat there what they've got going on. And again, it's nice. I've, I've been, you know... My fingers have been all over here, so I did wear a little bit of that away. And as we all know, guilting is the first stuff that goes when you get a new Bible. So that's not surprising. It's quite normal. On the outside, if you fold it in there, you can see the lion. So this is technically, uh, what is it, lion under guilt? Yeah, that's that's what we do. It's not, it's not red under guilt. It's lion under guilt. So really, really nice touch here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the inside cover. So let's go ahead and open up the inside. First thing you're going to notice is right away all the gold stamping here. We've got the gilt line, which goes all the way around the front and the back cover. And then you'll notice the logos, of course, and gold stamping there. Uh, and then you'll see this kind of line here shows that this edition is one of the edge lined Bibles. Um, now, edge lining is when they tab the entire block right into the leather to the leather cover. It makes it more durable. Humble Lamb has actually done a really good job of explaining the difference between their edge lined and their paste off options. And I'll leave a link in the description below. You can go there and they'll give you far more detail than I can in this short video. But needless to say that edge lined edition is going to last a lot longer and be more solid. Now this Bible is a uh, uh, fairly large. It's got a large footprint. So I got a measuring device here. And when we measure it, we see that it is about six and a half inches um, by roughly nine and a half inches. So it's a little bit bigger. Um, but again, for what's inside of it, you're going to be surprised how much it's packing in that uh, in that measurement. So let's let's open her up. And the first thing we're going to come to here is the dedication page. So if you're going to gift this to someone, it would make a wonderful gift. Absolutely. This beautiful Bible. Um, you can write it there. Uh, we flip over to the title pages here. And then the first thing that I want to draw your attention to is right here. You can see every Bible that's purchased from Humble Lamb, uh, they end up giving a Bible to someone else who may be in need. But on the other hand, if you look at this side here, what you're going to see is that this Bible specifically is published in the United States. Um, however, it is printed in China. Now, that's not a big issue for me. And I think for most people, that's fine. But some people do have 
uh, a conviction about purchasing things like that in China. Either way, I'm going to leave that up to you. Um, but that's uh, what we have in this edition. We come to the table of contents and it has our books listed in book order there. And then we go into the publisher's blurb about what's all in there. It gives you a little bit of detail about the KJV Lion edition, what it's doing, some of the art that's inside the Gustave Doré. I think I pronounced that right. Right after that page, it puts you right into the dedicatory. To the most high and mighty Prince James. You can read through that. Some good historical details. And I will give a kudos uh, to Humble Lamb for providing the entire translators to the readers. I think this is an important work to keep alongside the KJV. And I have, you know, given a little bit to uh, some of the other publishers who cheap out and don't include that. As a uh, massively historical and as uh, breathtaking of a translation the KJV is, I think they ought to include this as part of the history. And again, they have the whole thing there and it's uh, fairly long. So it'll be a a fairly decent read. After that, we come to the page layout, gives us some details of how they've done everything. And then they bring us right into the Old Testament. So first thing, when we open it up to the text, you're going to notice that it's in double column format, verse by verse. Now, the cool thing is, is they've included the uh, the pilcrows in there. So even though it's verse by verse, you know when the next paragraph starts. Now, it is a reference edition, and this is where I want other publishers to take note. Humble Lamb has done really well here. If we take a look at the references, the references themselves are on the bottom of the page. But there's two things to note here. One is it's in list format. That means it's really, really, really easy to find the references you're looking for. They include the verse number as well as the superscript letter. If you're another publisher uh, and you happen to be watching this, take note. That's a really great feature and it makes the references so much easier to use. Well done, Humble Lamb. Now, continuing on with the design features of this, you're going to notice that the initial letter is drop capped in this blue kind of squarish thing. It, it's almost like a representative of, of an altar with the horns of the altar on each corner. Just, just something kind of neat. Now, you're going to catch these from time to time. These are images, black and white printed images of the works of Gustave Doré. So he's produced a, a bunch of religious art. And again, it's beautiful, but it's not for everybody. Depending on your convictions, this could be a problem for you. Um, as you can see, this picture here is uh, of Jesus on the cross. And I know there's some uh, who believe that any representative image on paper or wherever constitutes a second commandment violation or a 2CV for short. Now, if this pricks your conscience and uh, you believe it to be a second commandment violation, uh, then this may not be the addition for you. Now, moving on, one thing that I didn't notice is the lack of ghosting. There is hardly any ghosting in this Bible, even on pages with art. Like, take a look at this. And then on the backside, you can't really tell that there's art, even on the camera. And the camera has a way of showing more than necessary. So really well done on, on the body of the text. Now, also, I want to point out that this is not a red letter edition, but you will see that this is a blue letter edition. Um, so the words of Christ are separated. And again, I know some people don't like that and some people do. Um, but in this edition, we have them separated out in blue. So apparently there was some rhyme and reason to doing it with blue, and that is because uh, apparently, I didn't know this, but red is really difficult to see if you're colorblind. And so by making it a blue ink, they make this Bible specifically a little bit more accessible to those who have colorblindness of, of some sort. Now let's flip over to the back at Revelation chapter 22. Guys, Revelation 22 is the last chapter in the Bible. We come to a concordance. We flip over past the concordance. And we come to the maps. And there are quite a few maps in here, actually. I'm quite surprised. Now, this is on a glossy paper. Okay? So you can see the uh, colored maps on a glossy page. Again, the paper is a little bit thicker than the rest of the Bible. Actually, it's significantly thicker than the rest of the Bible. And then after the maps, that brings us right to the end of the Bible. Again, there's the edge lining on the end page. And you can see uh, they've stamped in there the type of goat skin it is. Okay, and lastly, I almost forgot, let's take a look at the ribbons. This edition comes with double-sided satin ribbons with the angle cut in there, and they are all cut with nothing fraying and nothing falling loose there. Um, again, high-quality ribbons to go with a very high-quality Bible. So what do I think? I think this is an absolutely beautiful Bible, absolutely stunning. It's got all the bells and whistles 
everything you need, plus some. It's in a high quality, durable, Smith's own binding. I mean, high quality, 36 GSM paper, 11 point font. Uh, it's got just about everything. Oh, oh, it's got just, what do you mean? Just about, it's got everything that you need. Now, this is a, in, indeed a premium Bible. And like most premium Bibles, they do come at a premium price. So prepare yourself for a little sticker shock. The specific edition that I have here, the edge line with the raised hubs and the lion under gilt and that kind of thing. This is going to run you about $298 on the Humble Lamb website. But uh, if you don't want to spend that much, you can go down one. And for $175, you get the paste off edition. Edition. It's not a terrible amount of differences. I'll let you go and, and uh, take a look. I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyway, again, a solid, an absolute solid, solid Bible. And I am just uh, pleased as punch to be able to bring this review to, to you today. So, so big shout out to Humble Lamb for sending this to me and allowing me to share this with you. Anyway, brothers and sisters, until next time, we'll see you around. <music>